What's up everyone, it's your boy Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War video for you guys. So yeah, the Adana rework actually happened, and let's take a look at some of these troops. So, a number of these troops were reworked, and in a way that I was actually predicting. So for one, Iron Hawk survived, right? The artillery support final trait on Iron Hawk actually survived. And as I said before, they replaced the first trait um, and placed in this new particular trait right here, which is on stable core, right? It will create three bomb gems when I die. Um, so thank God, Iron Hawk survived. There are a couple good things that are coming out of the Adana rework though. So a number of these troops got that um, unstable core trait. Uh, so for example, Tina 9000 picked up that trait as well. But one troop stands out as being, actually two troops I should say. One is Tesla. So Tesla's boost ratio of a 4 to 1 boost ratio actually changed. Um, now it is actually 3 to 1. What that allows is now Tesla is extremely viable for Explore 12. She was already viable, but now she is amazing. So let's back out of here. Let's go to a fight in Adana in Explore 12. And let's show what a double uh, Tesla team can do. So as you guys can see on this team, I have up front Holy Saint Astra. This is the half mana start for um, humans. 50% mana start to all humans at the start of battle. And along with that, she has Divine Spark. Right? She will give uh, 44 life and armor to all allies. Then she will create a light storm and enchant all humans. Tesla is a human, of course. And I think her final trait was changed as well, the overclock trait, uh, which will give two attack and armor to all mech allies with matching four or more gems. But goodly, good, the good thing is that her... Um, her spell is the same, and it received an increased boost ratio. Of course, Leprechaun is going to be on the team as well for fast mana. The banner that I'm using here is the Saurus banner from the Fangmore faction. Plus two on red, plus one on blue, and we're minusing brown. I think for this team, the best place to go is either Wild Plains or Pride Lands. I think I'm going to go to Wild Plains this time around and see how this team actually works out. So explore 12 wild planes with a double tesla team and holy saint astra let's go and i'm using all my um, armor medals here because tesla's spell is boosted by armor all right let's match this now explode got both teslas powered up now take off all the four plus gem matches off the board there we go look at that <laughs> tesla is fully viable now for explore 12 this is amazing man a half mana start for a troop that has a 15 mana cost is amazing. So I hopefully you guys are able to use this team. And I like this. I like this. There we go. There we go. One more. Look, at, I think this is the best thing that actually came out of the rework. Of course, there is a mass gem destroying troop. Its name is Bork 3000. I've been using it in a few Diamond Tina teams and it's actually pretty good. Um, one of the nice things about that troop is that it is a mech troop, so you're going to be able to give it a 50% start using the Mechanist Hero class. But look at that, Tesla is doing Explore 12 easily, like it's just blowing through it. Um, let's go again, cast your Leprechaun, see if I can get my Tesla powered up, alright let's cast it again. One more, there we go, now cast one Tesla, cast two Tesla. <laughs> It's like a Diamond Tina team, but for true damage, right? And a way lower mana cost. A 15 mana cost cannot be underestimated here. Um, I think it's amazing. I think it is amazing. So I actually woke up early, um, fell asleep. Me and Cam knocked out after um, going to chill with the family. And man, I looked on, I woke up and I was like, what? What is this? Let's check it out. And uh, things look good. Things look good. Look at this. Ooh, man. Double Tesla. Explore. 12. Good. An Anu and an Arania. Okay, so that is one aspect of what I wanted to show you guys regarding the Adana rework. Of course, I'm going to be show you, showing you guys uh, Brock. Uh, team Bork. I think the name of the troop is Bork. I always say Brock. Bork. <laughs> Bork. Okay, let me see. This troop right here. 
I actually went ahead and bought up a little bit in the Kingdom Pass. And as you guys can see, I fully metal this Bork 3000. Good troop. Uh, skull damage reduction and it destroys gems like thrall you know what i mean I, i'm really excited about this particular troop here hopefully on the live stream later on we're going to be able to go over um a couple more options with this particular troop here but i just want to say that yes um double tesla is now fully viable for explore 12 um i think in majority of the kingdoms because it's a true damaging troop and it bypasses their armor, it hits directly to their HP, and her spell is boosted by their armor. So if, for example, in Adana this week, majority of the Adana troops are going to be gaining 10%, if not 20% to all skills, which is going to make Tesla hit even harder. Man, this is a good buff to Tesla. She was powerful before, but she's way more powerful now. All right, guys, hopefully you guys found this informative and helpful. If you did find this uh, helpful, hit the like button, comment and let me know what you guys think about this team right here. Double Tesla, Holy Saint Hastra, and Leprechaun. Amazing stuff. And send over your guildmates as well to come on over and check out the channel. All right, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace.